Okay, and welcome. In this video, we will see how we use maximum integration framework. And in this video, especially, we will see how we will export data. In the exit video, we will see how we import it using integration framework. Okay, let's sign in using max and user that used for maximum integration framework okay make sure that max end let's go to system properties to see default user and default directory Okay. Search for default user. You will see Max and Admin. Okay. Also search for global directory. Okay. This is our global directory that have been created you can create your one don't forget to select and make live refresh okay save the record let's go to again to second step is to enable our cron task gms cron task for integration Okay, search for GMS, GMS sequential queue consumer, make sure to activate this, uh, this current task, okay, make sure to activate this SQL in and uh, seek out, okay, for inbound and outbound integration. Okay, make sure it's it's active. Sequential queue out consumer and sequential queue in consumer. Make sure, and then select action, reload request. Okay, select them. Okay, make sure that is activated. Okay, you'll see a message called this instance. I've been reloaded. Okay, so the step let's go to our external system application itself to export data. Okay, this is predefined one by the system. You could create your own one. Okay, for exporting data, we will use publish channels. For importing, we will use enterprise service. As we will see in the exit video, okay. All this channel we will select our interface, okay. This is uh, we will work on max person interface, okay. Make sure that your endpoint is mxm file, uh, this one xml file endpoint, okay. Make sure that is xml file, okay. You could choose anyone else, okay. If you Choose a, uh, another endpoint. Okay, this is your endpoint integration. Okay, go to this interface. Go to object structure. Okay, this is the object structure for MX person. This is the object person and parent and child. Okay, let's go to add and apply. Okay, make sure to choose person application and XML file here. Make sure this you could choose account. Okay, then configure your security. Make sure to choose person authorized name, person application. Okay.
Okay. Let's go to our published channel again. Okay. Select the data export. We will export one person only. We could export uh, as many as we want to 100 as we choose. Okay, that is the output folder and that is the XML file that we've exported. Okay, in the global directory that we specified in system properties. Okay. That's all guys for uh, this video. See you in the next one. We will create, uh, we will import the data using enterprise service. Okay. Thank you. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Okay. Thank you.